during this pandemic and we're staying at home, we're social distancing. So our ways of communication, well, they're so different. Phone calls, video chats, lots of people doing a Brady Bunch thing across the screen um, and, and the virtual hugs, but virtual hugs still isn't like the real thing. And you know what? There is science that proves the real thing. A real hug is a pretty good deal. CBS 2's Tony Hayao has that tonight. It's just an emptiness. It's an emptiness. Yonkers resident Lori Garbin hasn't hugged her mom since the first weekend in March. The last time she was able to visit 90-year-old Mary Kirby before her Riverdale nursing home went into coronavirus lockdown. Had I known, I would have given her a much, much, much bigger hug before I left. You give good hugs, I know, because you've been giving me hugs for more than 20 years. Yes. My wife and I count Lori and Mark Garbin among our closest friends. She is a hugger. It's a way of saying for me that you mean something to me, that you matter to me. Many of you will understand the pain she feels at not being able to hug her mom. A connection, a love, um, her smell, her softness, her skin. Researchers say there is power in human touch and hugs can heal. Endocrinologist Dr. David Freiberg wrote about it for Psychology Today. People need to be hugged. We need to be touched. There are studies about hugs affecting uh, viral infectivity, affecting mood, affecting response to stress. Dr. Freiberg says during social distancing, it may help to look at a picture of a loved one and think about the times you've hugged. And reflect on them with gratitude rather than with loss. You don't realize how much you miss it until you can't get it anymore. This too shall pass and someday we'll hug again. I hope so. In the meantime, virtual hug. Mm -hmm. The emoji is sweet, but no substitute for the real thing. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.